where we just witnessed a Safa Powell, sorry, a Pasta Powell uh, doing his thing. All right, and um, we got it right here in the booth. A Safa, just walk us through your race, man. Um, it was a pretty good race, you know, I didn't you know, get out the blocks, you know, like I wanted to, but, you know, I just stayed relaxed and get a run through. It was very exciting for me, the crowd, fantastic crowd, and the atmosphere was great. In terms of where you want to be at this time in a year like this, how do you evaluate after this event? Um, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. You know, yeah. Training is going quite well. You know, I'm healthy and running fast, so you know, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Good. How do you project going into the trial? I don't know, next week is a big one coming up. How do you project the rest of this next few weeks as you prepare to go into the trial? You know, um, it's a step by step. You know, process, you know, this was training. Next week is training as well. Be a good run, you know, for me because that, that, that will pretty much be the field. And then I can try, you know, instead of using and do it, you know, things that are the big brand and so you know, that will just be very important. Absolutely. So what's next after, after um, race with me next week? You rest until trials? Or? Well, yeah, just rest, train, um, just work hard, you know, until the national trials, you know, get as much support as I can and just, you know, make sure that I'm ready. I'm looking forward to you getting back to being a faster forward. Any chance you want some more 200? Um, it's, it's in the making. You know, I, I might run the 200 at trials, and it just depends on what I You know, so you know, it, it's possible that I run the 200. Well, like, like we said, you continue to be the standard bearer for sprints before and soft. Before you saying there was a soft, all right? Yeah. So, you know, we have our continued support, and look forward to more to come this season. Yeah, man, I appreciate, I appreciate it. Safa, I have to use this moment, you know, because all day long they've been rolling their green and the black in my face and sporting color bar stuff. But it's a very special moment because we got a Charlie Mount guy on the mic and a Charlie Mount athlete, and it's a very unique moment. So, congrats on a, on a great career here, man. And um, continue to do good stuff. And thanks for dropping in on Reggae Vibes Radio this year. Yeah, man, no problem. All right, appreciate it. All the best for us at the All right. That's right, listeners, here goes the big man, Asafa Powell. Talking to us live, Reggae Vibes Radio Power 2.1 FM. Um, how, how do you feel um, heading into future events after today's performance? Oh, I feel great. I mean, I'm, I'm slowly putting my race together 100%. I've had a great finish in the past, and now I'm trying to have a great start to have a whole race where I can, uh, you know, break records. And I think that's where I'm at this year. What's next? I'm going, um, I'm flying straight to Paris tonight, and I have a race in Montreal, France. So, uh, back on the worldwide scene again. Awesome. Sounds good. Now you have a little bit of experience behind the, behind the microphone doing commentary and I've noticed you've done a great job of that. When you hang up your spikes, do you think you're going to do that long term? It's definitely a dream of mine. I mean, I love to talk. I love to interact with people and so I think that's the best way to combine the two. Plus, I kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit. Absolutely. You're good at it on the track and off the track. And I'm looking forward to a long career. I don't want you to retire too soon. No, no. No time soon. Well, Queen, it's ReggaeVibesRadio.com. So, Hey, put on your Reggae Vibes Radio hat for a moment. Let the listeners know which station they're listening to Queen Harris Nunn right now. Reggae Vibes. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take that, Queen. And uh, again, good run, man. Uh, uh, it's a little humid. How did you find the conditions in the ATL today? Um, I mean, coming from Arizona, we have dry heat, so we don't have this humidity. So I just had to keep sipping on water to stay hydrated, but everybody in all eight lanes had the same weather, so I couldn't complain. I just had to run and win. Only one queen, right? <laughs> well, enjoy the flight. I guess you're gonna cool down. And how early is your flight? A couple hours, or it's at 11:30. So oh, I got, got a little time, time to party, and then I can head to the airport. Oh, okay. 
Okay. That's right. Well, uh, officially you did party fast today, and that's the theme this year, partying faster. So congrats on a great run. All the best with the rest of your season. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Good luck in Eugene and the trials. We'll see you next year. Absolutely. Have that's right, Queen. We look forward to the Queen returning to the scene in the ATL American Track League 2016 Action Live Reggae Vibe Radio 4 one FM. Thank you. Thank you, that's right, Reggae Vines Radio Pona 211 FM. We are with the winner of the women's 800 meters, Natoya Gold. What were your expectations going into this one? Well, my expectation was to do what I did today, go on the two minutes, because it was very important for me to do that, because the start of the season was not so good for me because of some personal reasons, but then I go back and see what the problem was, and I solved it, and now I'm back where I'm supposed to be, so thanks be to me. Well, that's wonderful, man. You're talking about that we did to do that go on the two minutes today. I told him you were going to go in two minutes. I didn't say how far under that. I'm glad you ran 159.30. Just learn that that's a personal risk. Yes, it is. And I'm super, super happy with that. I can't wait to call my coach because he, he couldn't be able to be here today unless he would have. And I know he's proud because this is actually my first time going under two minutes at this time of the year. Normally, the first time is at trials, which is the end of June. So being able to go at 159 and even a PR, I'm really looking forward to what I can do this year. Right, and just to share, our coach is called, uh, it's Mark Elliott, called him Ifta. Yeah, Ifta. You know, Ifta, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> but definitely a great, a great race for me. So how do you take this race and prepare as the season progresses towards trials? Well, actually, this gave me more confidence that I can definitely go on the 159 because I went through at 56. Right, and 26. Yes, and I feel good. So if I actually run the way coach wants me to run, which is 58, 128, I definitely can finish in at 30 seconds for the last 200. And that would bring me to 158 or even faster. Absolutely. I think 158 is definitely realistic. And anything is possible when you're running in that range. Yes, it is. <laughs> Well, once again, Natoya, a very good run. Happy that you made your, uh, you know, met your expectations of this race. Congratul um, congrats and good luck with um, the trials and all the other events that you're preparing for this big, big year. Thank you very, very much. Thanks for being on Radio Vibes Radio. We're going to bring some fun so you can have a nice food out Yes, and you all should continue to listen. They're playing some nice music. That's right. Thank you for that much, Natoya. Tell them you're listening to Reggae Vibes Radio. Yes, I'm listening to Reggae Vibes Radio. Big up. <laughs> Big up, Natoya. Right. Good luck in your career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.